This is breaking news from News 8. Good afternoon. That breaking news for the first time. The mayor of Rochester responding to the controversy over the valedictorian from U Prep Charter School who was not allowed to give his graduation speech. This came hours after it was announced the president of the school, Joe Muno, would retire. The student, Jason Lovett, claims he was not given a reason and that administrators didn't even read the speech. Lovett admits it could have been because of issues between him and the school's principal. When he wasn't allowed to give the speech, Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren let him deliver it at City Hall, and the story gained national attention. Selena Lewis is live with the mayor's response here at noon. Selena? Mark, well, the mayor had previously said that she wasn't even aware of the reason that Lovett was denied his valedictorian speech before allowing him to deliver that speech on the city's official YouTube channel. Nonetheless, she defended Lovett again today in her decision to do that, saying that he earned the right to do so because of his academic accomplishments. Mayor Warren also claims that she called Muno but didn't hear back, and the school says they did reach out to the mayor's office. Either way, Lovett gave his valedictorian speech on YouTube before there was any communication between the office of the mayor and the school. We actually still don't know the reason he was not allowed to give the speech. The school says they can't for confidentiality reasons say why. And if the mayor does know why, she didn't let on. Are you saying, though, that academic accomplishments could potentially excuse any type of behavior? I mean, the fact is you didn't know what the disciplinary issue was. The fact is it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it, it doesn't, the, 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 the fact is, at this point in time, it doesn't matter. This kid, valedictorian, and speaking at graduation is a right. It is when you achieve that academic performance, it is a right that you get up there and be able to deliver a speech and say thank you to your parents, to your friends, to your teachers all across this country. Now, I did ask Mayor Warren the same question several times, <clears throat> why she felt comfortable allowing Love at that platform without knowing the reasons why he was denied giving the speech in the first place. Similar answers each time, though. Mark. The mayor on the record this morning, Selena, thank you. We are continuing our coverage on this story. Elijah Westbrook joining us now here in studio with a reaction from parents to the sudden retirement of UPEP Prep's president. Elijah. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Well, certainly a lot of mixed emotions between parents and even students we spoke to today. Some parents say the decision for Joe Munio to retire came as a shock, while others say his decision to step down is long overdue, adding the decision to not let the school's valedictorian speak at graduation might have been the tipping point. I just heard the news, and it's going to be too bad because he's a fantastic guy. You can't ask for a better guy. Uh, He's all for the students. By him retiring, he's being allowed to, you know, get away with what it is that he did. Okay, because, you know, that speech, the, the kid, you know, being valedictorian, he should have been able to do what every other valedictorian is able to do. Now, in a statement from the board at University Prep, it says in part that they're disappointed with the negative attention the school is getting, adding it's distracting from the, quote, significant accomplishments of the school during its eight years of operation. Mark? Elijah, thank you. We